Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Terrence Crawford versus Jeff Horn update. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Now, I want to give you guys an update. There's a lot of fans that seem to be confused, so I want to tell you what I know, all I know, regarding a fight with WBO champion Jeff Horn and former undisputed at 140, Terrence Crawford, undefeated fighter. Now, it's a good fight, first fight at 147 for Crawford and this is this is the situation now fans have heard about this fight for a while even last year they knew that Crawford was likely to fight Horn the WBO gave him a very good generous mandatory ranking based on his accomplishments previously and obviously being undisputed at 140 so moving up he got that kind of um, advanced credit so people knew about the fight at first they were saying the fight might happen February March ish and then there was a date that came about that said about April 21st. Now, April 21st is still a potential a potential date, but they're also looking at April 14th. And initially, the reports that were saying April 21st, they were saying in Las Vegas, West Coast, at the T-Mobile Arena, which I don't think Crawford has fought at the T-Mobile Arena since they fought there. And I was actually excited. I'm, I live in California, so I was excited for that because... Um, I think that would be a good look. But the dilemma is this. NHL is halfway through their season and there's a team that has first dibs on the venue basically, T-Mobile Arena. So based on not knowing who's going to the to the to the playoffs and finals in the NHL, there's no way that T-Mobile, the MGM Resort Properties are willing to guarantee top rank April 21st because they have a contract with the NHL. So by chance, if they do make it in advance to the finals, then they get first dibs on that venue. Um, and that would obviously throw off Crawford versus Horn fight. That's one issue. April 14th, they're talking about Justin Timberlake has a potential, he has a date there booked so now top rank is looking on the east coast and they might stage this fight between the dilemma with justin timberlake and the las vegas knights they're looking at maybe putting this on the east coast and putting it at madison square garden so that's where it's at right now jeff horn to my knowledge has agreed to his side of the fight saying he wants it i don't know if he really wants it but um obviously he's he's content money wise or whatever and we know Crawford wants it, so that's not really up for debate. So it looks like the fight will happen. It's just a matter of when and where exactly, because that's kind of up in the air. Let me know who you're picking. Fight prediction-wise, I, I really wish it happened in Las Vegas, but you know what I mean? It's boxing, and these venues are hot, and you know what I mean? You got to get them while you can, and if you can't, then you don't want to. You know what I mean? You don't want to keep pushing stuff back and then push it back to a later date and a later date. So drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video's ego. Son. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.